Shimano have just launched a 12-speed version of their gravel-specific GRX group set. It's a calculated and precise evolution of the already successful previous generation. Which makes it even more versatile than before, and Shimano say is designed to make you undroppable, unbeatable, and unstoppable. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the individual components and tell you everything you need to know. So this is my ride for the day. It's kitted out with the latest 12-speed mechanical GRX, the range topping version, which is the RX820. And it means that for now, electronic shifting GRX receives no update. And this new group set still has the original feel and ethos of the original GRX group set, which many people attribute to being the world's first complete gravel-specific group set. There are three different options, or personalities as Shimano are calling them, to choose from within the RX 820 range. And I'll focus on that in just a few minutes, because I'm also excited to say Shimano have made updates and gone 12 speed on the more budget friendly RX 610 group set, which of course, there's lots of other options as well. But wait, there's still more because this bike is rolling on some fresh hoops. The Carbon RX880 wheelset, which you guessed it, has also received some updates. So there is one hell of a lot to talk about. So let's start with the RX820 because it's what's fitted to my bike. And this particular version or personality is what's called unstoppable. It uses a one by chain set with either a 40 or 42 tooth chain ring. They've got three different crank length options, 170, 172.5 and 175. And then when we move to the back of the bike, we've got this big 10 to 51 tooth micro spline cassette and a rear derailleur to handle those wide range of gears. The RD RX 820-GSG to be precise, which is a pretty catchy name, I think you'll agree. The rear derailleur is using Shimano's Shadow Road Plus clutch. This is designed to help keep the chain secure and the shifting smooth. Now, being 12 speed, it's helping to allow you to have that wide range of gears suitable for epic climbing adventures tied in with the simplicity of just one chain ring. And then the second option, or personality as Shimano are calling it, is unbeatable. It uses the same one by crank options, and then at the rear of the bike, we've got a smaller range, but closer ratio, 10 to 45 tooth micro spline cassette, and the same rear derailleur. However, it uses a smaller pulley wheel cage to cope with that different cassette. But what this also means is that should you say want to change your gearing options later down the line, or you perhaps damage the rear derailleur cage, well, you can just replace that section rather than replacing the whole rear derailleur, which I think is a neat idea. Which leads us on to our third personality, undroppable, where I was going to insert some sort of crappy joke about Ollie getting dropped, but instead, no, I'm not going to drop myself to that level of humour. <laughs> yeah, you see what I did there? Instead, let's talk about the group set and we'll stick to the facts only. So the undroppable option is using a two by chain set with a 31 tooth and a 48 tooth chain ring. And then you have the exact same three different crank length options. And then for the front derailleur, well, we're using a derailleur which features Shimano's toggle link technology, which essentially means less movement required up at the lever when you wanna change into that larger chain ring. It also features an increased chain line which is two and a half millimeters wider than what you would expect on road standards this is to enable space for those chunky big gravel tires oh and you also have two different cassette options to choose from you have an 11 to 34 and an 11 to 36 tooth cassette both of which are using shimano's hgl2 spline fitment types 
And this is actually something which I found quite confusing here discussing all the cassette options. So what we're gonna do is dive into that in a little bit more detail in just a few minutes when we focus on the wheels, because that way I feel like it's gonna make a lot more sense. So we've established that there's quite a lot of choice before you actually get to the fun part of riding your bike. But the idea behind it is it allows us as riders to choose the parts which suit our riding style. And that's perhaps the best and worst part of gravel riding because in reality, it can be whatever you want it to be. Now, to quote Shimano on this, they say, the new 12-speed GRX lineup delivers more gearing options along with unrivaled ergonomics so riders get the most out of each unpaved adventure, whatever that might be. Which for me is out here blasting along the fire roads, ripping through the single track. But GRX is equally at home, racing through the pack at your local gravel race or bike packing into the wilderness. Controlling the seemingly endless gearing options are the dual control levers. And the great news here is that Shimano have gone up to 12 speeds without increasing the overall lever body size. And Shimano are saying the levers are designed for use with a flared drop bar to help improve comfort and minimize any pressure points which are created on your hands. This helps also increase the grip and control that you have. When it comes to the different options, well, you have the two by option to choose from, but if you go down the one by route, then the left hand lever can either be set as just a brake lever only, or it can be used to activate a dropper post. And all of the different options feature this grippy surface coating on the lever blades. So that's everything that makes the bike go, but equally as important is making the thing stop. On the brake-in side of things, GRX quietly received an update back in 2022 when Shimano released the limited edition polished silver version of RX800. This caliper is a more compact design and has 10% more pad clearance over the previous generation. And whilst it might look very similar to the Dura Ace road calipers, this one is still made from a traditional two-piece construction. Now there are no specific GRX brake rotors. Instead, you can choose from either Shimano's road or mountain bike lineup in either a 140 or 160 millimeter size. Wheels next. Now, it was only a year or so ago that Shimano released their first carbon fiber GRX wheel set. Yeah, here we are with an updated and lighter version. These ones are using the same carbon fiber tubeless ready rim, which is 32 millimeters deep and has a 25 millimeter internal rim width, which means it's suitable for tires which are 32 to 50 millimeters wide. And the updates come in the center of the wheel at the hub. This hub is helping to save some of the weight off of the wheel set and also is using the same direct engagement free hub as what's used in the Shimano Dura Ace road wheel set. And it's these updates which are helping to save 68 grams off the total wheel set weight. I don't know the wheel set weight, so we'll just pop up on screen. The new hubs feature interchangeable free hub bodies which are required for this wheel set depending on which gearing options you choose. Now pay attention here because this is where it can kind of get pretty confusing. So Shimano GRX doesn't have its own dedicated cassette range. Instead, if you go down the one by option, you're using Shimano's mountain bike cassettes with their micro spline fitment type. And as such, because this is smaller, it uses a smaller micro spline free hub body. What this means is that the RX880 wheels are now 12 speed only. However, if you go down the two by gearing option, which uses the Shimano HGL2 cassette type, you can fit those cassettes onto the older 11 speed HG free hub bodies, which has been like Shimano's road standard for absolutely ages. However, if you go down the one by gearing option, which uses the mountain bike cassettes, they are not gonna fit on any older 11 speed HG free hub bodies. <sighs> And now my head hurts. 
In terms of weights and prices, because there are so many different options to choose from, we're going to have a handy little chart come up on screen now. Then you can pause, read everything to your heart's content, and then come back to me while I just sort of stand here and wait, really. You're back. So that pretty much covers off everything in terms of the RX820 group set and the Carbon RX880 wheels. But what about the more budget friendly offering, the RX610 group set? Updates here are thankfully simple, but equally just as important because I think it's great to see updates made to group sets on the budget friendly end of things. The RX610 group set is using trickle down technology and features new 12 speed shifters and updated cranks. The shifters now feature a textured rubber hood cover and that grippy surface coating on the lever blades, much like what you would find on the RX820 group set. There's also a two by and a one by option to choose from, but no dropper post option for the left hand lever. The one by crank uses a 38 or 40 tooth chainring option and there are four different crank length options to choose from. You have 165, a 170, a 172.5 and a 175. In terms of the two by crank, you've got a 30 and a 46 tooth chainring and the same four crank length options. Now when it comes to the derailleur options for the RX610 group set, well according to Shimano's spec sheet, there's no specific RX610 derailleur, which means you have to use the same cassette options and derailleur options as what you have available for the RX820. It just means that as an overall package, the RX610 is giving you more affordable shifters, cranks and brakes combined in with the other options which are available. And then finally, what about the chains used in 12-speed GRX? Well, Shimano are specking the RX820 with their XT mountain bike chains and the RX610 with their slightly more affordable Dior mountain bike level chains. But what about the weights and prices? Well, the one by version is $1,165.92 and the two by version is $1,233.91. Now, in terms of the weights, well, Shimano haven't actually quoted any specific weights for the RX610 complete group set. Now, what I have done, though, is looked at the difference in some of the individual components and tallied up the difference in those weights. And when you take that into account, the difference between the RX820 and the RX610 group set is actually only in the region of somewhere between two to 300 grams. And it's of course gonna vary depending on the different options you choose, such as one by two by, and then all of those different crank length options combined in with the different cassettes. But when you look at it like that, it's not really a huge difference. Which means at this point, I'm all out of nerdy details and facts. But what do I actually think of it? Well, it achieves what it sets out to do, which is trying to help you take on gravel riding however you decide you want to, if you even want to. And with so many different options out there, it's really just a case of taking time to think what's most important to you and the type of riding you do, and then choosing the options accordingly for it. Which means that pretty much draws this video to a close. I hope you found it interesting seeing what Shimano have to offer with their latest group set. And I'm keen to hear your thoughts on it. So please do let me know in the comments section down below. And it means for now, well, I'm out of here. See you later.